this is the boxing system. It's a drawing of two lenses as they would appear on someone's face looking towards you. Although this relates specifically to frames, there is no frame shown. Why is there a boxing system? Because due to the shape of the lenses, it would be difficult to define sizes and locations without some kind of reference. It can be daunting at first and difficult to remember. The first step is to understand all the abbreviations and notes. Some are called out in this picture like GC for geometric center, but then others like ED for effective diameter are not. How in the world can you begin to remember all this information? What I do is draw it all out. I start by just drawing the lenses, and then I put in as much information as I can remember. Then I compare my drawing to this picture and make note of anything I've forgotten. Then I draw it again and again until I have it all there. While drawing, I'm thinking about each thing I draw. I'm no artist, so the sketches are rough, but that's not important because they're meaningful to me. Here is an example. First I draw the lenses and the nose just for orientation. Then I box the right lens horizontally to get the A measurement or the width of the lenses. Then I box the left lens vertically to get the B measurement or height of the lenses. Then I draw in the add near vision segments. In this case, they are drawn as straight top 28s. I draw or imagine a line right through the center of the lenses which can be referred to as the datum line or one half of the B. I add the note that tells me the segment height is specified from the bottom of the lens to the top of the segment. And I note that there is distance between half of the B and the top of the segment, and it's called segment drop. I show the geometric center of the right lens. The left one would be the same. I can draw the effective diameter because it's a measurement of the longest line that can be drawn through the geometric center. If I show the geometric centers of both lenses, I can see the frame PD. Note that this is not the same as the patient PD. The lab can decenter the lenses in a frame to put them right in front of the patient's pupils. Now I can point out the DBL, or distance between lenses. I like to remember that the A measurement plus the DBL is equal to the frame PD. There you have it. That's the boxing system in a nutshell. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. The boxing system is your friend, and thinking about this diagram helps to understand the terms.